Welcome to Custom Made in New York podcast, reminding women of their worth one week at a time. This show is dedicated to all women, custom made especially to win. I'm your host, Raven Joseph. Hey everyone, welcome back to Custom Made in New York podcast. I'm your host, Raven Joseph. And on episode 24 this week, we will discuss building your confidence. I'm so happy to be back. Um, I do apologize for my off week. I was launching and it actually took more of my time than I expected it to. Um, So I was hoping to be back. Um, One of my interviews got pushed back and so like I kind of had an off week. Then my um, apartment was being worked on so my space wasn't accessible for my recording like usual so it was just messy but I'm here now and I'm really excited um I launched my candle line candid soul candle company and it's been a great experience so I see like a lot of people have challenges making sales and for the first week it's been pretty awesome I'm pretty happy that people are loving my stuff so I created this candle line because I think it was just a mix of things like being home during quarantine I wanted to try something new um I'd try the gardening stuff um that didn't work (laughs) I should have taken like it started off great for the first week three weeks and then I don't know one night I don't know if it was a frost or whatever but all of a sudden I like went outside to hang out on the balcony and the flowers all died. So I don't know what that was about. It freaked me out. So I've kind of given up. There's one pre- pepper um, plant that I actually didn't grow from scratch. So I'm not too proud of it, but whatever. There's a pepper on the tree or a plant or whatever it is. But yeah, so I just decided I wanted to start um, playing with candles and it was just like, literally for for fun like I was stressed somewhat anxious and I found that making candles actually really calmed my nerves and yeah so that's kind of where it all started um there's more to that story but I'm just gonna leave right there because this episode I'm going to just share with you some things about being confident or ways to be become more confident I have not still am challenged by being confident like that's one of my weaknesses I get really anxious um in certain instances I'm a people pleaser so it's like I hate to see people mad I want to see people happy all the time even if it compromises my own happiness and I'm starting to unlearn those things like I've shared um previously like growing up I just had to listen to what adults said it wasn't like my ideas it was whatever was said I had to obey, you know, uh, my mom used to say a disobedient child is worthy of death. So I'm now starting to really build that confidence and find my voice and just be myself without, you know, really being bothered by the outside, you know, but I find myself still challenged by that because I still get irritated when people do certain things that really like hurt my confidence. Um, a couple of years ago, I was in grad school and my professor had us take a quiz called Johari's Window. So there was a part of the quiz that I had to answer, like, what are my thoughts about how I see myself? But there was also a part of the quiz where we had to go around to friends and family and ask them how, what words or what adjectives they thought of us. So comparing what we thought of ourselves to what other people thought of our that thought of us and my um professor I asked him and he was just like you're a people pleaser nobody had ever told me that before and I was kind of like insulted I'm not going to front like that hurt my feelings but (laughs) it helped me to like start looking at myself in a different light and like paying attention to what that really means it wasn't an insult it was a truth that's how he saw me um and I do agree like I you know with that after I did some reflecting it is a truth so one of the things I happened to me this past couple of weeks um, was I found that the more that I took initiative, the more that I found that people had something to say that really 
was like a jab, not intentionally, but it was like a jab to my, my confidence. And I had to remind myself, um, that I need to keep going. I had to remind myself that not everyone's going to agree with what I'm doing and that's okay. So one of the things that I wanted to share that I do continuously is affirmations and that is kind of tied into my candid soul brand is just reminding myself of who I am. So candid, like the naked soul, this is me and I'm proud of me. That's kind of where I got that name from. But one of the things that helped me, helps me to do that is just to speak life into myself, to say my affirmations, to do my meditations, to have this relationship that I have with God to strengthen me, the inner me, my soul, you know what I'm saying? Not my physical, but just my mind, you know, my heart. Um, I think that's really, really important. And although right now I can't say that when someone says something to me, it doesn't affect me at all. I'm not to that point where I'm like, Teflon, like nothing penetrates, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I know that I can bounce back. You know, I know that this is life. People are not always going to agree with us, right? So another thing that I've done to build my confidence is to do. Um, I'm not going to lie. The reason why sometimes I have an off week with my podcast is not because I don't have anything to share with you. It's because I'm nervous as shit. Like, I have so many different topics that I want to talk about, but then I feel like insecure, like maybe I'm not the right person to share this or um, I don't know enough information or I don't know all of the information, you know, to share. Like I might be lacking something that someone needs. So like it cripples me to not even want to say anything like and that's even in conversations. Like I don't say shit because I'm like, I don't know everything. So let me just shut up. You know what I'm saying? But um that's not okay. So like having to come on here every week, it really pushes me to become confident with practice. And that can be anything. Like if you want to write a book and you feel like, damn, I can't do this practice, do it, do it with no expectations first. And, you know, until you get used to it, you know, but you have to start. Um, so to do, that's another one. And I've, also been stifled by the the want to be perfect or the desire to be perfect and um especially with family like mine who constantly criticizes shit it's hard to do because you know they're gonna be like oh you should have done it this way or this way would have been better or you should try this next time you know like sometimes it's just like shut the fuck up and mind your business. I think, <laughs> and I don't mean to be so blunt, but like, it gets freaking annoying when somebody's always telling you how to do shit. It's like, do you believe in me or not? Nah? Because I feel like every time you ask a question and I share something with you, it's, oh, well, it should have been done this way. You don't, this is not your life. Like, let me live my life. And I think part of it stems for, for me is being the youngest of three siblings so it was constantly me having to listen to you know adults and things like that so I feel like sometimes my family still thinks I'm a baby but I'm 34 years old like chill it's so irritating and then with me sometimes it's difficult for me to hold my tongue because I'm a grown woman right I pay my own bills nobody helps me with anything I hold my own shit down so it's just like sometimes when people say things and you speak up and it's not even a disrespectful manner it's just checking them they get really offended and and try to make it seem like you're attacking them but then they have the audacity to say or do things that are inappropriate or disrespectful or just invasive you know so like I'm starting to find ways to not give a fuck about that. You know, those people that are in your lives, whether it's at work or at home, are constantly doing things to suggest that you're not perfect or you should be perfect. It's so important for us to recognize that. That we don't have to be perfect. That no one is perfect. Just remember that because I think sometimes... For myself, I get so caught up in my thoughts that I forget, you understand? And that's why I practice affirmations, because I forget. 
you know, I have to remind myself that person isn't perfect, right? What that person said, does that really make sense? Like, there are so many of my people that speak life into me as well. Why am I focused on that negative Nancy? Don't allow anyone to put their own fears and insecurities onto you. That is so common. Like, even me sharing my business ideas, people were just not with it. They weren't as supportive as I would like them to be. But at the end of the day, I'm still going to do me. I was having a conversation with somebody and they told me that I basically should have kept my mouth shut in regards to someone that was disrespecting me because this person who I was working with hadn't finished what they started or what we were working on. So basically, I should be fearful because now that I've spoken up and, and um, demanded respect that they can then come along and sabotage it. Let me tell you something. I'm never going to be silent, especially at, like everything that we see today in society that's in our world. And I don't even, I feel like I'm getting emotional, but like this ain't the time to be silent. Like it's not the time to tolerate disrespect. You understand what I'm saying? I could give two shits about anybody who's going to hold against me anything because I defend myself or I demand that respect as a woman. You understand what I'm saying? Like, nah, nah. I mean, like, I don't, it's not happening. And I say this because I feel like I'm more boisterous or more vocal about things now than I was before because literally I would shut up I wouldn't say anything I probably mumble it to a friend that it's irritating me but I don't do that anymore because I have a voice and I don't do that anymore because I see the fuckery that is happening in this world and it's because I think it's gone on for so long because we're always silent we're always scared to speak up and like I just can't be that person I can't I can't contribute to that kind of culture So just practicing and being confident in myself has just helped me so much. And lastly, one of the things is just focusing on the why of why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, I do get nervous sometimes with like taking chances and like trying new things, but I do have goals and I do like when I do things, it's always I'm always hoping or I'm trying to make sure that it's part of the bigger picture, the bigger plan, right? So this podcast is part of the bigger picture. It's part of the bigger plan. My candle line is part of the bigger picture. It's part of the bigger plan. Like one of the things, if you go to my candle line uh, work um, website, you'll see that I'm donating to my nonprofit. I haven't built the confidence yet to fundraise. I don't feel comfortable asking people for money. I've written grants, so I'm waiting to hear back. But in the meantime, my nonprofit needs to be funded. So part of the the sales that I receive from my candle business, they go straight to lace. Um, so there's always a reason for why I'm doing it. It's not always about me. It's not always about, it's not only about, you know, what makes me happy, but it's also for my community So and my family. So just knowing that and keeping that in the forefront kind of, pushes me past not being confident or being afraid or being insecure. So yeah, so what I just want, these are things that I wanted to share with you because I'm still struggling all the time, but at the same time, I see how much I've grown. And so I just wanted to write these down and share them with you because I feel like I, I'm going and I'm not going to stop. So again, it's just making sure that you're checking in with yourself. So self-care, your affirmations, your conversations, your reflections, you know, your, your relationship with God, just working on your soul, your inner peace that will build your confidence doing, not waiting around or making excuses, but even if you have to start small, you're starting somewhere and the more you do, the more you become confident because we're going to make mistakes. Although I don't mind making mistakes. I just don't like people talking shit. There's a difference, but it's going to happen. 
So I will continue to do, I will continue to make mistakes. I will continue to embrace those mistakes and I will share them with you because sometimes I wish people would just give me the answers. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I get exhausted, right? But (laughs) so sometimes I want to share what I learned because it's like, yo, sometimes we just need a break, right? And so just remembering that not everything has to be cookie cutter perfect, right? we can be messy. This is our journey. Everyone has their individual journey. Everyone has their, their experiences. Everyone is unique. So it doesn't need to be perfect, regardless of what other people may make you feel or think it does. You don't have to be perfect. Um, as long as you keep going, that's most important. And just really lastly, focusing on what is more, most important to you, what you value, the why of why you do what you do. Um, I think these are the ultimate strategies or things that really help me to be positive and to help me to um, build my confidence. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Um, I'm super excited about my new candle line, so I hope you go visit. Um, I'm going to share with you my Instagram so that you can just follow me there at custom made new york it's my instagram page and then um my candle company www.candidsoulco so it's co.com it's a shopify store um yeah so follow me on instagram email me if you have any questions if you want to hear more about any specific topics you can email me at custom made in new york at gmail.com i thank you so so much for tuning in and i will speak with you next week Take care.